Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga. I'm gonna adjust my phone just slightly so we don't have to see all of the light up there. And you can just see me. And if the lighting is a little crazy, it's because it's like gloomy gray outside right now. So we got what we got and that's all good. If you are here, give me a comment because apparently they're not really showing me who's live with me anymore. So just say, hey, I'm here, I'm so excited, something. Tell me what you're grateful for. I wanna know how you're starting your day and hopefully you're starting it with something you are grateful for. And I'm grateful for this right now as we are all about to begin. So I hope you guys are ready for some yoga. And I'm so grateful, you guys, for your flexibility. I know some of you are probably planning on Thursday night and well, Thursday just did not go at all as expected. Um, you know, life happens. But on the plus side, my husband is currently down in the basement where I will go right after class and he is setting up our basement flooring so we can actually move back down eventually to the real yoga studio and get out of my art studio so I can actually make some art because that guy right there has not been painted in a while and I need to do something. But um, so again, I'm just, I'm really thankful for your flexibility to join me here this morning. Um, and I, I just appreciate you guys for showing up and being here. So again, if you are here, give me a comment, like say, hey, I'm here, I'm so excited, something because Facebook Live doesn't actually show me who is live with me anymore. And it's, it's a weird scenario. <laughs> so take a sip of your water enjoy some Lenny snuggles before he turns into a crazy little monster. Finn is just over there out of sight. He's tired. We already went on our one mile morning walk and he just wants to rest until this afternoon. So anyways, I hope you guys are ready for some yoga. So let's just do it. Let's just jump into this. Make sure your mat is out. Come on down to a comfortable seat. You can sit up nice and tall. Put your hands on your cat or in, oh, he fell. That was fun. <laughs> or in your lap. Just sit up nice and tall. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale. Let it go through the mouth. <sighs> inhale. Exhale. Push it all out. Everything you're feeling, let it go. <sighs> inhale. And exhale. Let it all go. <sighs> Great. Just let that breath come in and out through your nose in a nice, normal, natural rhythm. Bring a big smile onto your lips as we sit here focusing on our breath. Notice how your body is feeling. Are you holding in tension? Like right now as we're sitting here, is your low back burning? Are your legs kind of tensing up and lifting away from the ground? Just give them a little shake, let them go. Use your arms as some stability. Lengthen through your arms, round through that pelvis and sit up nice and tall. In time, you gain the muscles in that low back to really support you and you're not feeling that burning or that discomfort anymore. So it's baby steps, you know, we'll, we'll take some time to get there, but you have to be okay to kind of feel your way all the way through it. Everything that is not necessarily comfortable and things that eventually you won't even notice. So again, take another big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly, and we're going to again focus on that breath, but this time as we breathe, I want you to notice, is your breath coming from your chest or is your breath coming more from your belly? So take a couple breaths and just pay attention. If you're noticing that a lot of your breath is right here in your chest, it's short, it's stifled, it's maybe even hard for you to breathe just sitting in this position, that's telling you that you've got a lot of tension. Look at these two already, you guys. <laughs> you've got a lot of tension in your upper body, right? And that's when we start to feel it in everything up here. Maybe you get headaches, maybe you get 
tightness in your neck and your shoulders or just even a burning sensation through your traps, through that upper back, and it comes back to our breath. So with our next inhale, what I want you to do is I want you to focus on breathing as deep as you can, getting it into the base of your lungs and just feeling an even balance of air pressing through your entire upper body. So take a big inhale, feeling those lungs fully. And then exhale, pull your belly button into your spine, press that air out like you're flexing your abs. Inhale, do it again, fill your entire lung up. Exhale, pull your abs in, let it go. Inhale, notice your body is going to start expanding and elongating with that breath. Exhale, abs in, press it out. One more, just like that, in. And exhale, let it go, just like Finn did. Great job. You can release your hands back down onto your legs, sitting up nice and tall. I want you to keep that awareness of your breath as we move through practice and really engage your core with every time you exhale. So you're using your diaphragm, you're strengthening all of the muscles in the important spots in your upper body to help you get out of pain, you guys. So take another big inhale in, straighten through your arms, really straighten through your upper body here. I want you to look up. Exhale, just tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, look up. Exhale, chin to chest. One more, just like that, in and out. Awesome, this time press your chest forward, bend at your elbows, look up. Don't crank your head all the way back. We don't wanna pinch any nerves in our neck here. Just look up, loop your shoulders around your spine so they're, you're feeling them literally roll around to the center of your back. And as you exhale, tuck your chin into your chest, pull your back towards the wall behind you, allow your tailbone to curl up towards the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen, roll forward. Exhale, round, pull it back. Inhale. Exhale. We'll do two more. In. Out. Great. One more. In. And out. Awesome. Come back. Sit up nice and tall. Take a big inhale. Lift your arms all the way up. Exhale. Float them down. Inhale. Lifting. Exhale, lower. Inhale, all the way up. Interlace your fingers at the top. Turn your palms towards the ceiling. Press your palms all the way away. Really lengthen here. And exhale. Go ahead and just release that right palm down to the mat. Lengthen through your left arm here. And turn your chest towards the ceiling. Begin to just lean a little bit more so you can feel that stretch through the left side of your body. Notice if your left leg is coming up, try to relax it down. You can keep your right arm lifted away from the floor with a slight bend here, or you can bring that forearm all the way down if it's available. No straining, no stressing, no causing any extra pain or pressure that's not needed. You guys, look at this guy. He's so silly right now. <laughs> it's really hard to hold my balance. Focus on that breath, just like we did a moment ago. Fill all the way to the base of your lungs. Inhale. Exhale. Let it go. Make sure you don't just drop your head. Hold it there nice and stable. Begin working those neck muscles. One more breath here. Big inhale. Exhale. Inhale all the way back up. Interlace those fingers. Press it up again. Exhale. Release. Allow that left palm to drop down. Lengthen over to the left side, turn your chest towards the ceiling, and turn your top thumb towards that wall behind you. Focus that breath all the way through the right side. Now if your arms, your shoulders hurt at all, bring your hand down to your hip and just pull your shoulder blade to the back wall. Focus on that breath, big inhale, and exhale. Keep it going. Notice if that right leg is a little tense, give it a little shake, let it go. One more breath here, in and out. 
inhale all the way back up both arms up big stretch here and exhale float them down great inhale lift your shoulders up to your ears exhale loop them back and down your spine inhale lifting exhale lower inhale exhale two more just like that in out last one awesome we're gonna go on to all fours so bring your knees under your hips your wrists right under your shoulders listen to that you guys I actually said it right this time go ahead and plant your palms make sure your fingers are spread nice and wide and you can feel that pressure of the mat through every single finger knuckle here nice flat back send your gaze forward but again don't crank through that neck take a big inhale exhale curl your toes under inhale drop your belly send your hips to the sky look forward press up and out of your hands here lifting away from your shoulders and as we exhale round through your back tuck your chin into your chest really pull that upper back towards the ceiling here tuck your tailbone under inhale lengthen drop your belly as we move through our cat cows here exhale round inhale exhale great two more keep it up last one awesome come right back into that neutral tabletop position I want you to open your knees as wide as your mat bring your big toes into touch and release the tops of your feet down to the mat plant that right palm underneath of your nose here and with your next inhale glide your left arm all the way open to the ceiling look up tuck that tailbone under here really feel that dip in that low back disappear focus on your breath big inhale exhale let it go again you can always drop that top arm down looping your shoulder back don't forget to smile you guys it's a beautiful freaking day even though it's gloomy you make the best of it one more big inhale in exhale let it go inhale and exhale go ahead and tap that left hand down to the right inhale lift it back up feel your body moving here inhale i mean exhale let it go inhale up exhale inhale exhale in out one more awesome go ahead and plant that left hand down underneath of your nose check and make sure your pelvis is tucked under and then inhale glide that right arm all the way up turn your thumb towards the back wall so you're really engaging through the shoulder not causing any compression here press away from the floor with that left hand big breath exhale let it go inhale exhale two more breaths here in this static pose one more awesome big breath at the top exhale tap it down inhale open and twist exhale inhale exhale two more last one great job go ahead and plant your hands down walk your knees back right underneath of your hips curl your toes under take a big inhale as we come into that neutral spine and with your exhale send your hips all the way up to the sky press into your hands and turn your biceps towards the ceiling here begin pulling your chest towards your thighs and it's okay if you have a big bend in your knees or if your heels are even lifted in time you'll be able to gain that flexibility I'd rather your arms be in the proper position so you don't cause any compression. So once your arms are right where you'd like them, really press into the knuckle of that index finger. Take a big inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more breath here, in and out. Great, bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way up to the front of your mat and allow your upper body to completely release over your lower body. Get a nice big bend here in your knees and then just tuck your chin into your chest, allowing gravity to do its job. 
And it's okay if you're not touching the floor. If you're way up here, that's fine. I used to be there. And now I'm down here. It's all practice. Whatever you are willing to commit to do, you will gain whatever it is you hope to achieve later. Take a big breath in here. Really try to focus that air on the back side of your body because right now your belly is pressing into your legs and it's probably feeling a little tight. So again, focus that breath back here. Big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, glide your hands all the way up to your thighs. Straighten your legs, straighten your upper body, and look out past your nose like you're the figure seven here. Take a big inhale. And as we exhale, we'll come back into that forward fold. Release that upper body over your lower body. Inhale, glide your hands to your shins. This time coming into our halfway lift, straightening through your legs, straightening through that upper body. Big inhale. And exhale, fold. Awesome. Inhale. Choose where you want your hands, your thighs, your shins. Maybe even want to keep your fingertips on the floor here. Inhale. And exhale, fold. With your next inhale, we're going to slow and control. Roll all the way up to standing, straightening through your legs first, rolling that tailbone under, beginning to round through your low back as you press your hips forward, through your mid back, engage your core, through that upper back, looping your shoulders back and down your spine, opening your chest lengthening through your neck and lifting through the top of your head and getting your hair out of the way. Take a big inhale in. Keep your hands right here at your palms like you're really standing like a statue. Exhale, let it go. Great. With that next inhale, I want you to turn your toes inward as if you're kind of pigeon toe here and really focus on tucking that tailbone under here, right? So once you get that all set, inhale, lift your arms all the way up, big stretch. Exhale, just release your hands down to your side here. You can point your toes straight one more time. Just take a second, allow your body to move back to its normal state. And then inhale, turn your toes inward, tuck that tailbone under, lift those arms all the way up. This time, interlace your fingers, press your palms to the sky, big stretch. And exhale, straighten those toes, release your hands, and forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and plant your palms down. Notice I have a big bend in my knees right now to do so. And then step one foot back, and then the other. Coming into plank, shift your body weight forward so your wrists are directly underneath of your shoulders here. If this is too much pressure, Drop down onto your knees. Really press out of your hands, lifting out of those shoulders, and focus on your breath. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Use your abs. Press the air out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Hold it here. Just angle your fingertips slightly towards the edge of your mat. Take another big breath. And with your exhale, keep your elbows into your side and slowly lower all the way down to the mat. No flopping. Release your belly, uncurl your toes, straighten your fingertips. Inhale, lift and press into your hands, lifting your entire upper body away from the floor, coming into our up dog. Focus on your breath here, engage your glutes, keep that low back nice and stable and press into the tops of your feet. Big breath. And as we exhale, send your hips to your heels coming into our child's pose. Now, if this is a little uncomfortable, a little hard to breathe, go ahead and open your knees as wide as your mat, allowing space for your belly. And then release your forehead all the way down to the mat. Arms can be extended overhead. You can walk them back towards your head. Find a variation that's comfortable for you here. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, exhale through the mouth. One more, just like that. In and out. Great. Catch your breath and just let it come through a nice normal rhythm in and out through the nose.
I want you to bring a big smile onto your lips, you guys. And think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. With your next inhale, find your flow back up to your tabletop position, knees under your chest, wrist underneath of your uh, shoulders. Go ahead and curl your toes under. Take a big inhale and press into your hands. Lift your hips away from the floor as you exhale. Get your arms in the right position, biceps towards the sky. Press into that index finger knuckle. Lift your hips a little higher here. Press your chest towards your thighs a little deeper. Don't cause any pain. If you even feel an ounce of anything, back out of the pose just slightly. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Bend your knees. Look forward. Step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale. Lengthen. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Press into your feet here. Get a little bend. And this time we're going to draw a big circle with our arms as we stand all the way up. Arms up and overhead. Big stretch. Slight back bend at the top. Bring your palms together. And as you exhale, bring your hands right to your heart. Take a breath there. In. And out. Release your shoulders down. Feel your body relaxing. Take one more breath here. In and out. Awesome job. Inhale. Sweep those arms all the way up. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Lengthen. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold. Plant those palms. Step your opposite foot back this time. And then the other. And move through that vinyasa. Shifting into our plank. Angling your fingers towards the edge of the mat. And slowly lowering all the way down. Inhale, lifting into our up dog. Exhale, curl your toes under. We're going to go right all the way up into our downward facing dog. Sending your hips all the way up. Walking your feet a little closer if you need to. And focusing on that arm positioning. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. And only step your left foot forward. Try to get it between your hands, but if you're awkward like me, just move your left hand around that foot. Inhale, press your chest forward, look forward. Exhale, you can release that back leg down if you would like. To keep the challenge, you just keep that leg all the way away from the floor. I want you to plant your right palm on the floor and inhale, open that left arm all the way up. Big stretch. Exhale. You can play around where your neck is positioned. Maybe you're looking up. Maybe you're looking out to the side or down. Just again, focus on that breath. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. In. Exhale. Lower that back knee down if you're up in the air. And I want you to slow and control. Lift that back knee or that back foot away from the floor. And try to reach your hand back towards it. If you can't touch, don't force it. If you can, grab the outside edge of your foot and continue pulling that front knee into the center. Inhale, look up. Open your chest to the ceiling. Exhale, let it go. Release that hand. Bring your left hand forward. Frame that foot. Curl your back toe under here. Lift the knee. Step it up. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Big bend in your knees. Inhale, big circle. All the way up. And exhale, forward fold. Plant those palms. Step whatever foot back you would like and move through your vinyasa. And this time, we're going to go back into our child's pose and hold it there. Taking a moment to just ground ourselves, to surrender. 
to breathe, to be grateful. So close your eyes if you haven't already. Take a big inhale in through the nose and out. Inhale, exhale. One more giant breath in and out. Great, just let it come through a normal rhythm. Notice where you're feeling that tension and just give your entire body a little shimmy shake and let it go. Feel the weight in your forehead getting a little more intense, pressing into the mat. Feel your arms getting heavy, your hips getting heavy. And then I want you to bring a smile onto your lips and think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. With that next inhale, find your float all the way up to downward facing dog. You can fix your clothes as you need to because somehow they move. We just fix them and go on with life. Take a big inhale in and out. Inhale, exhale. Great, bend your knees, only step that right foot forward. Aim for between your feet, but again, if you don't make it, move that right hand to the outside of your right foot. Go ahead and plant your left hand down, and again, you can choose. Keep the back knee lifted away from the mat, pressing that heel towards the back wall, or lowering it down, shifting your weight forward, taking any pressure out of your knee. Inhale, open that right arm all the way up. Focus on your breath here. Turn your thumb towards the back wall and pull that front knee in towards the center line. Big inhale, big exhale. Inhale, exhale, use your abs. One more, just like that, in. And as we exhale, go ahead and release that right hand down. Lift your knee away from the floor if it's touching the mat and step that left foot up to meet your right, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle, all the way up. Palms together, release them down to your heart. Take a breath, in and out. Awesome, step to the center of your mat, opening your feet about hip distance wide. You can angle your toes just slightly away from your center and towards the edges of your mat, I suppose. <laughs> Take a big inhale, lift your arms all the way up, palms together, and with your exhale, I want you to bend at your hips. Start to press your hips to the back wall and start to sink it down as we come into a squat. Release your arms down, elbows inside of your knees. Now, if you can't go down far, stay up here, but lift your chest really high. Otherwise, connect elbows into your knees. Again, you can have your hips lifted here if you need to or begin to sink them down. Really press into your palms. Allow that to leverage your legs open just slightly. Lift your chest wherever you are at. Take a big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale. Really just focus on those big, deep breaths like we practiced at the beginning. Feel your oxygen go into the base of your lungs here. We're gonna stay here for three more breaths, you guys. You can do it. I know it's not always the most comfortable in this position, but you can do it. We're working on strengthening our diaphragm, strengthening our body, getting yourself out of pain or discomfort or whatever it may be, or even releasing anything you have going on emotionally. One more big inhale 
And as we exhale, release your hands down to the mat, begin to lift your hips to the sky, point your toes to the front wall, and forward fold with your legs nice and wide here. Inhale, come onto your fingertips, lengthen, halfway lift, nice flat back. And as we exhale, turn yourself to the right side of your mat, step it back into your plank, and move through your vinyasa. And again, send it back into child's pose. If you keep your knees into center, you'll allow yourself to really open up through that low back. Or again, open them as wide as your mat, opening up through your hips. Find what's comfortable to you, and then release your forehead all the way down. Close your eyes. Choose where you'd like your hands. Maybe you want them out in front. Maybe you want to fold them under your forehead. Maybe you want to just rest them under your shoulders. And if your knees are into the center, you can take your hands all the way back to your feet, palms open to the sky, and just allow your body to completely surrender. Let your shoulders round forward. Feel the lengthening through your spine. Feel the weight in your forehead. Go ahead and rock your forehead left and right, just giving it a little massage. And then find your stillness. Take a big inhale in and out. And one more really big inhale. And exhale, let it go. Awesome. Just let that natural breath come in and out through the nose. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today. And with your next inhale, wherever you're at, glide your hands that way they are underneath of your shoulders, palms down. Go ahead and press your upper body away from the floor, pulling your knees into the center line here. Again, fixing your clothes as needed. Give your body a little shimmy shake. Get that energy out, wake yourself up. And then make sure we're sitting up nice and tall. Really loop those shoulders back around your spine, feeling your hands moving towards the sides of your hips here. Take your right hand to your chin, press your chin back in space just slightly so we can align ear over your shoulder. Pull your belly button in, take a big inhale. Exhale, let it go. You probably feel real stiff in this position, that's okay. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, send your body weight forward, curl your toes under, and slow and controlled, release your hips back to your heels. If you have any pressure that's too uncomfortable, just lift your hips away from your heels slightly. We're going to give our feet some love to carry us through our entire day, you guys. So again, sit up nice and tall, roll your pelvis under here, loop your shoulders back, tuck your chin towards that back wall. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Find something to hold your gaze on, to take your mind away from maybe that uncomfortable sensation you're feeling in your feet. When I first started doing this pose, I would feel a tightness all the way up through the calf area, a burning in the bottom of my feet into my toes. And that's a very normal thing because we're stretching muscles that probably really haven't been taken care of for a while. So again, you can always lift your hips up and out just slightly or sink them down. You always find the variation that works with your body. We're all different, which means we're all gonna move a little differently and that's okay. Take another big inhale. 
And as we exhale, go ahead and shift your weight forward, send your legs to one side or the other, and then release your bottom all the way down to the floor. You might want to shift yourself into the center of your mat, extend your legs out in front of you, lift your buttocks, sending it out to the side so you can really sit onto your sit bones here. I want you to go ahead and turn, flex your toes towards your face, and also turn them inwards just slightly. Again, sit up nice and tall through your spine, plant your hands right at your hips here. Take a big inhale, exhale. It's okay if you have a bend in your knees here. You might feel a little pressure in that low back. That's all very normal. Take a big inhale, exhale. Great, inhale, lift your arms all the way up, big stretch. And as we exhale, release your upper body over your legs wherever you can. Maybe you can only come this far and bring your hands to your shins. Maybe you stretch a little farther, bringing, leading from your chest forward to get your ankles. Maybe you can grab the bottoms of your feet. Whatever version you are at, it is okay. Be there, own it. Know that you are helping support your body right now. Take a big inhale. And as we exhale, tuck your chin into your chest and just release yourself here. Focus on that breath, inhaling in. Exhale, allowing your body to shift forward slightly, sinking into that pose, but no straining at all. Inhale. Exhale, sinking a little deeper. Inhale, slow and control. Roll all the way back up. Sitting up nice and tall, take a breath. Inhale and exhale. Awesome job. Go ahead and take that right foot, plant it outside of your left knee. Bring your right hand back behind, plant your palm down. And with your next inhale, lift your left fingertips all the way up to the sky. We're going to turn to our right, connect elbow to knee, and then look over your right shoulder here. Feeling a nice twist. Again, listening to your body. Don't overdo it. Part your lips just slightly so you can release through your jaw. Feel that stretch through the left side of your neck here. Really use that back arm as leverage to help keep your spine nice and straight. Focus on that breath. Big inhale. Exhale, sinking into that twist a little bit more, but not forcing it. One more breath here, in and out. Inhale, take both of your arms to the opposite side of your mat, plant them on the floor, get a counter twist. Inhale, back to center, release that right leg down. Go ahead and plant your left leg outside of your right knee here. Left hand back behind. Inhale, lift your right hand all the way up. Exhale, turn to the left. Connect elbow to knee, look over that left shoulder. Part your lips just slightly, lengthen through your spine here. Keep your front foot tucked, curled towards your face. Big inhale and exhale. And again, using those exhales to really sink into that twist a little bit more. One more breath here, in and out. Awesome, inhale, counter twist, arms to the opposite side of your mat. Inhale, all the way back forward. You can release both feet down onto your mat, knees bent. Inhale, shift your chest forward, holding onto your knees. Take a breath there. Inhale, bring your arms out in front of you, palms facing together. Shift your body weight forward, and as you exhale, Release yourself just a couple inches until you can feel your abs engage. No rounding in your spine. Keep that belly really pulled in. Think, clench my abs. Take a big inhale. Exhale, lift only your arms up until you can really feel it's a struggle with your abs here. Inhale, exhale, release them back down. Inhale, lifting. See if you can sink a little lower in your upper body here. Inhale, lift your body up. Exhale, release your arms down. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, sink it back. Inhale, exhale. In, out. Bring it forward. Release them down. One more set. In, exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, release your hands just in front of you. Take one more big breath. 
And as we exhale, slow and controlled, release your entire upper body, rolling through the vertebrae of your spine, allowing your arms to come overhead, stretch your legs nice and long here, get a big stretch, you earned it. Yawn if you need to. And then as you exhale, pull your knees into your chest, bring your hands to catch your knees, give them a little tug, lift your tailbone away from the floor, get a massage through your back here. And then come into stillness, just focusing on your breath. You can close your eyes if you'd like. I want you to spiral through your feet here, first one way and then the other. Getting out all of your snap, crackles, and pops, you guys. <laughs> and then again, come back into stillness. Really pull your knees into your chest. Give them a big, big tug. Lift your forehead to your knees. Take a breath. And as you exhale, release your head down. Release one leg and then the other. Allow your feet to fall open as wide as your mat. Release your hands to the floor, palms open to the ceiling. Again, close your eyes if you're not there already. Take a big inhale in. Exhale, let it go. I want you to take the biggest breath you've taken all day. Really fill your entire upper body with oxygen in. Exhale, twice as long. Noticing where you're holding that tension, releasing it as you exhale. One more big breath in. Exhale, let it go. And we made it, you guys, into our final pose, Savasana. And this is our time to be still, to be present, and to just breathe. And if you notice that your thoughts start to filter in, that's okay. We just don't want to give them too much attention. So instead, I want you to count your breath. One on the inhale, two on the exhale, Three, four, and keep that going until you get to ten, and then start again. With your next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, bat your eyelashes, open and close. And when you're ready, roll onto your side facing me, use your arm as a pillow, and we'll take a breath there. Inhaling in, and out. With your next inhale, press yourself away from the floor. Come on all the way up into a comfortable cross-legged position. Sit up nice and tall. Pitch your clothes. Bring your hands into your lap and go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale. And exhale, let it go. Bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead, inhaling in and out. 
Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhaling in and out. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Inhale and exhale. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big inhale. And as we exhale, bow forward. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. Again, I appreciate you so much and your flexibility to move from Thursday night to Saturday morning with me. If you love today's session, let me know in the comments. I would also love to hear what you are thankful for. And if you're catching this on YouTube later, subscribe. Come back for more because I think it's fun stuff. <laughs> All right, you guys. I hope you stay awesome humans, happy and healthy. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye.